and it's 9.20 in the morning. Um, I thought of an idea of showing you what I eat in a day on a budget. So, this morning I'm going to make oatmeal. Yeah, I'm going to make oatmeal. So, I use Quaker Quick Oats as the base. Mm, I like to add cacao nibs. Oh, cacao nibs. Hmm. What else to add? Oh, I also like to add coconut sugar. Um. You can substitute it with honey or agave or any other sweetener you like. Mm. Oh, and I also like to add dashes of cinnamon. Okay. Um, and I also like to add fruits. Here I have strawberries and blueberries. First of all, I'm gonna wanna measure two thirds of water. Serving, it's about a third of a cup. Okay. Yeah, take about this much. while the water is boiling. So around this time, I lower the temperature and then I add my coconut sugar. Okay. 
so you can see me better now. <coughs> Once it starts to cook, or once it looks kind of done, I will add in a couple dashes of cinnamon. It's done when it reaches a porridge-like consistency. Yum. oatmeal pretty. shrimp with cucumber. So I've already defrosted my shrimp and I need to get two eggs.
also going to use some oyster sauce. Is that it? Oh, let's see, cucumber. Mm. It does look like I have cucumber, so I use a zucchini. Oh, by the way, you can get shrimp that's peeled and deveined. So that's the spark for you. Before I cut my zucchini, I need to make rice. So while this is cooking, I'm going to start prepping the zucchini in the ship. Obviously this zucchini is too big for one, so I'm just going to use a bit. This much. I like to slice it diagonally. I don't know why, just personal preference.
rinse your clothes. So. Veined. The underside isn't, as you can see here. So I'm just going to clean that part. Finally, my secret ingredient is LKK Premium Oyster Flavored Sauce. Maybe a little more than a teaspoon. size pan so I'm just going to wait for it to heat up my rice is done In my household, we have avocado oil, but you can use any oil you have to cook. Um, let's just drizzle. 
When you see the beginning signs of your shrimp starting to cook, add in your zucchini. While it's cooking, I like to multitask and clean. Brown, you can lower the heat and add in your egg mixture. Okay. And then I like to swirl the eggs around. This is form an omelette. So 
for yaki udon, you will need your choice of meat, or you can skip meat if you're vegetarian or vegan. Here I have beef flat iron shabu. And this is the seasoning sauce. It's called mensu. Um, yes, that. And then I will be adding tofu to my yaki udon, some spring onion, mushroom, napa cabbage, and this is the base. It's frozen fresh udon. It's very important that it's frozen. Um, what else? Okay. So I guess the first step is to prepare my ingredients. if you're skipping meat in this dish. I think what's great about this dish is that you can make it in a bit in a big batch and store it overnight. lunch cupboard for an entire week if you want it to. as well for this yaki udon dish.
for garnishing so if you don't have spring onion that's totally fine as well So you're going to need 6 tablespoons of the Mensuyu seasoning sauce. One tablespoon of soy sauce. Okay, now to start cooking, you will need to boil your udon. goes the udon. Heat up your pan and then oil it.
Virginia mushroom. I also add some of the seasoning. Usually I'll add carrots too, but I don't have carrots in my fridge, so yeah, let's get the tofu. And look at the sunset. Oh, can't see anything, but it's really bright outside. Okay, the noodles are almost done. Just one more minute. Some sesame, roasted sesame seeds. It's a generous amount. Okay, time to put the eat on it.
As you can see here, this is too much for one person. So, leftovers! Let's stir! 